Hello everyone, I am Dr. Suyash Bhandekar. I am practicing as a consultant in IVF specialist in Mulund Eva Care Clinic. I will be briefing you today about infertility and its management. As we all know, the incidence of infertility has increased over a period of one or two decades and in correspondence to that, science has also evolved in this field to help out these couples and, it's, uh, and it, it has given a multiple array of management options to these couples. Uh, as of now, the incidence of infertility is around 10 to 14 percent in India as well as in abroad. So, what do you mean by infertility? Basically, infertility is inability to conceive within 12 months of unprotected and regular intercourse. Normally, what we see is around 80 percent of the couples do conceive within one year, and in the second year, consecutive second year, it's almost 90 percent. So, roughly, there is a 10 to 14 percent of couples who require some sort of uh, fertility potential. So we usually divide fertil uh, infertility into two aspects, whether it's primary, where the lady has not conceived uh, any time, and to secondary, where she has conceived initially like an abortion or she had a previous issue, she had a first de delivery, and she's again trying for the same, but she's not able to conceive again. So what leads to infertility? So as we all know, it's basically a combination of male and female care factors as well as a combination of it. When we are looking for female factors, which is contributing almost like 40 to 50 percent of the cases, which involve, includes your uh, ovarian factor like PCOD, premature ovarian failure, endometriosis, ovarian cyst. It could be a uterine factor, which includes your septum, fibroid, polyps, etc. Or it could be a tubal thing where your tubes are blocked or have been damaged. Or it could be a, could be a combination of all these things. Secondly, the most important thing in females is the hormonal thing. It's a complex interaction between the hormones which deals with your menstrual cycle. Uh, the next is the male factors. Male factors do also have a role in it. Almost like 40% of the cases what we see in the OPD are a male related thing. In which the semen parameters are damaged because of some testicular trauma, testicular injuries, uh, testicular infections or some sort of undescended testes, hydrocele, hernia, some sort of uh, damage or insult that has been done to the testes. Uh, third, it could be a combination of both the factors, the male and the female factors contributing together, which is seen almost in 15 to 20 percent of the cases. Last but not the least, there are some factors which are like unexplained, where we do not have any reason, where the male as well as the female factors both have been ruled out, everything appears to be normal, but still, there is some element which are subtle changes which we are not picking up on a morphology. So, uh, if we uh, see, when do we approach a doctor for that? Normally, as I said, you 80% of the couples do conceive in the first year itself and 90% in the subsequent year. So, these 10 to 15% who have been married and trying since 2 or 3 years, they should definitely approach a doctor who may sort out to some small uh, basic management uh, investigations and further management. However, what we caution is some uh, special couples do require an early intervention, just like uh, age of the lady being more than 35, she has a previous history of uh, uh, ovarian uh, problems like PCOD, endometriosis, ovarian cyst, he has uh, irregular cycles, there is known or suspected male uh, problem which, are, which is uh, hampering something. So these patients should always come forward and look out for fertility treatment uh, as soon as possible. So we usually advise some basic investigations like uh, for the female it would be some hormonal test like thyroid, prolactin, AMH. LH, estrogen, progesterone, which deals with the uh, regularity of the periods. Second, a detailed ultrasound is must, which looks after the uterus, the tubes and the ovaries, which can be seen through ultrasonography. Uh, the only test which we advise for the male is the semen parameters, the semen analysis, which look for the count, the motility and the morphology factors of the sperms. If these are normal, we usually say the male factor is al al almost normal. And secondly, a tubal evaluation which uh, the, whether the tubes are patent which we uh, go through like HSG, histosalpingogram or maybe a laparohistoscopy uh, altogether. So depending upon uh, the age, the duration of marriage, uh, the cause of infertility and uh, uh, the mean uh, uh, hormonal and, and other investigations, we individualize the approach and uh, the options available for infertility are like just going ahead with tracking of the menstrual cycle and looking for the fertility fees or it could be an ovulation induction or it could be an IUI which is like an intrauterine insemination or the third and the last is the IVF or the ICSI which has a good success rate of almost 65 to 70 percent in a given cycle. So this is all about it in brief. For more details do connect to us with uh, Eva Care Clinic, Mulund, Mumbai. Thank you.